Hello, Louisa Jewell here with your weekly juice. And today I wanted to talk about guilt because guilt is one of those things that does hold you back from doing the things you wanna do in your life. Now, now there's two different kinds of guilt. The guilt we feel after we've done something, we feel bad about it. But there's also the guilt that comes on where other people make you feel guilty. And I'm gonna talk about that in next week's juice. For today, I wanna to talk about when we feel bad when we've done something. Now, here's the thing, having a little bit of guilt when you've done something you know, that you feel is wrong is not actually a bad thing. It kinda of keeps us in check, keeps our behavior in check. Of course, we don't wanna be out there hurting other people, so a little bit of guilt can be a good thing. When guilt is bad is when we've done something and then suddenly we label ourselves as we are a bad person. When guilt makes us believe that I am bad, that there is something wrong with me. And I want to remind you that you are not your actions. We all make mistakes. We all do things that we think are wrong and that's okay. It's okay and we can recover. We can do the things that we need to do like apologize or follow up with someone or try to change our behavior for a future time. That's okay. Now, I want to share with you a story. I had a friend who cheated on her husband. Now, she felt very, very bad about it. And in fact, it broke up their marriage. So she felt terrible about it. It was not the thing that she wanted to do. She, she felt, you know, when she looked back at it, she's like, I regret doing that. Now for years and years and years, her husband called her names and abused her as they were going through the divorce. Just like the worst names I've ever heard. And she allowed it. Why? Because she felt guilty. So sometimes guilt can welcome in abusive behavior because we don't feel that we deserve any better because we've labeled ourselves this really bad person. And what I said to my friend at that time, as I said, this was going on for seven years, I said, enough is enough. The punishment is not fitting the crime here. I think it's time to forgive yourself. Why can't we forgive ourselves when we've done these things? We find it a little easier to forgive others. Well, maybe not. <laughs> But why is it we can't forgive ourselves? And I gave her the permission that day to forgive herself and to stand up to her ex-husband and say, I will no longer be the acceptor of all of your abuse. I really, really love Maya Angelou's quote where she says, when you know better, you do better. That can be what we call a self-compassionate mantra for all of you who are suffering, feeling you've done something, carrying that guilt, can you say to yourself, now that I know better, I will do better. We need to show ourselves self-compassion. We need to forgive ourselves and here's why. Because if we're always in that guilt, we will never go out and live our best life. We will never feel that we deserve flourishing. We will never feel that we deserve those beautiful people in our lives or that love in our lives. And then we will never show up in the world the way we want to show up. So forgive yourself. Show yourself self-compassion when you do that. Your heart is filled with love. You show up with love. You shine in this world. You flourish and you can do great things. I'm sending you love. We'll see you next time.